And this is where we go straight off the narrative of Super of um, Space Battleship Yamato because this thing don't happen because we are now full going full sliders or quantum leap or something. <laughs> Recording. Okay. So, um, I accidentally skipped a bit with the recording here. My apologies for those catching up. Satose just, we, we spent a quick, a uh, bunch of bit quick cash on leveling up one of the double up, um, the Gundam Raphael. And we just, wo and Satose just woke up on a beach next to the ocean with Soji. They're on a planet with a beach and water and a blue sky. Weird stuff be happening. But that can't be. The gambling planet bombs dried up the... Did we get sucked into that dimensional quake and wind up on another planet? That's about the only explanation I can think of. So you're finally awake too. What? Is he speaking Earth Common? What are you talking about? He is! That's definitely Earth Common! Does this mean we're on Earth? Poor thing, you must have hit your head really hard. But it's alright, the ambulance will be here soon. Oh, um, I mean, thank you. Where am I, exactly? You too, big guy. We better get you both checked out at the hospital. Leave it to me. His name's Tatsunochin Shinguji. Well, since you went the trouble of ta calling an ambulance, I might as well tag along. Between the Earth Common and the familiar ambulance siren, I swear we're on Earth, but there's an ocean. And it can't be an ocean, because everything went to crap earlier. Well, things are going to get really, just really, really interesting in just a moment. Might this be some sort of alternate universe Earth? Oh, turnabout's fair play. Old Tokyo, Japan. Does that mean we're end up at Tokyo 3? Birds! Go ahead. Dig in. Don't mind if I do. Ikidakimasu! Delicious. I didn't know, never knew Nato could be this amazing. It's impressive because Nato's kind of smelly from what I understand. Real beans are so flavorful as opposed to recult as opposed to retextured protein. You sure are laying on thick, Shitose. You too, Chosy. This is all cheap stuff that was on sale. Not at all, Tatsu. This is seriously the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. It's amazing. I mean, it makes sense. They have been in a planet Earth that has been and heavy environmental degradation over the past several years has been bombarded to the point the oceans are dried up. And you think, like, a lot of what the foods that we take for granted now would no longer exist in their world. So this is, so these reactions are 100% perfectly logical, makes sense, and really, it, it's, I, I'm glad they kept it, and I'm glad that they realized, hey, we need to do this for the narrative. You want another, Soji? Absolutely. Tatsu, thank you so much for all this food. It's been a week since you two got here, and every day you're just as excited at mealtime. Sorry, I wasn't scolding you. Think of how nice it is to be young. You know, I think this is a super outworth game. If we get the Marsden successor, Nandusko, we we'll probably get the, uh, the main character of that series is also the ship's cook. So, you two might get along. If it weren't the fact that uh, he's currently got a girlfriend. Eating, working, even sleeping with vigor. Now that's really living. I mean, this is the closest they've had access to actual normalcy thus far in their lives. I feel the same way. Good. I'm glad to hear it. 
Tatsu, we really can't thank you enough for taking vagrants like us into your home. Don't worry about it. My son's passed the year my wife passed the year before last, and my sons are pretty independent. I've been living alone since I had to retire. I'd love it if you'd stayed here forever. Stay the night. Stay forever. Stay forever. But you know we can't Oh, don't listen to an old geezer's rambling. It's just I don't care about your past, but I am worried about your future. I see. How do I put it like this? I found you two washed up on the shore when I went about fishing, so it's like I caught you. It was like the stars themselves sent you to me. I want to look after you until I know you're okay. Thanks, Tatsu. I appreciate it. But this doesn't mean we can take advantage of your hospitality. We'll start looking for work. Oh, I'll do my best to report you guys. I'll be happy to provide a reference for you. Thanks for the food. It was delicious. I'll clean up all of this so you can go out and look for some work. Thank you so much. Let's go, Choji. You got your Tosei. Let's get to it. We're off, Tatsu. <clears throat> Poor things. They don't look like siblings. They must be a young couple on the run from some trouble. Well, it may be hard for them, but at least they're getting back some of that joie de vivre. Noville, Tokyo City, Central Park. So is this Tokyo too? We spent nearly this entire week researching at the library. Hmm. The more we find out about this place, the more I'm certain this is another Earth. Yeah. I definitely felt for Yoma and Sitsun and everyone, but I never thought we'd for one second we'd end up in a similar situation. I wonder if the Yamato is here in this world too. That's a good question. If something like that word suddenly appear here, it would definitely make the news. We haven't heard since we haven't heard anything. Everything, anything. We could be that we're the only ones who ended up here. This place is really peaceful, isn't it? it seems like it was a huge war a few years ago, though. There was, there was a battle between a rogue military group and the rebels. After all, the war between the Earth Federation and a group of genetically modified people. And then there was the war with the people who immigrated to Jupiter at the same time and the alien invasion. And their social structure is totally different from our worlds with this whole aristocratic class thing. But the ocean is so blue, and the world's food is all natural, and I haven't seen one person in town not smiling. This place could be more different. After all, our world is going to be completely destroyed in a year. I'm going to put it like that. Yeah, this place might as well be heaven, huh? Ah, uh, no. We're calling heaven is a bad habit to get into. We have to live here now. We're going to have to live here now. What? Come on, Chitose. It's what you want. Isn't that why you stopped calling me Ensign? I only stopped calling you that so I wouldn't worry Tatsu, that's all. Fair enough. And I like you can tell the truth, is it? I guess we better keep our mouths shut. That was my thinking, too. Well, another one on the same page. Let's get down to the business of assimilating into this world. We'll find a job and... Wait a minute, you're using all this research time to go search for the Yamato and its crew, aren't you, Ensign Murakumo? Whoa, easy now. It's not like I could do anything, even if I did find them. What do you mean? Uh, I don't want to talk about it, but there's no point in talking about thinking about how talking about hypotheticals. Don't try and trick me like that. Give me a straight answer. Don't you want to return to our world? I Robots! What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Over there, Shitose. What is that thing? They've got Jovian weapons! The name's Osaka. Shouldn't there be a Texan accent? They got, they got Jovian weapons. It's a terrorist we've heard about in, that brief, in the briefing. Southern accent. If it's Southern or New York, and I can't really do New York, because I don't really know how to do New York. Um, they've hit Japan. This isn't good at all. They could be handed to the Alto, the Alto, the Alto factor. I pronounce that. What the heck is going on? Who would start fighting in the middle of the street in broad daylight? That must be one of those Jovian weapons. You mean the Jovians who fought a war with the Federation forces, do you? It is Martian's successor, Dandisco. They're the only Jovians I've heard of. The literature didn't go in a lot of de into a lot of detail. They seem to be immigrants who were chased from Earth. They've turned into terrorists. They must be holding onto a grudge left over from the war or something. Let's go, or er, Ensign Murakumo. Go where? You don't even go fight them, do you? Fight them with what? We both know that's crazy. We could at least help people evacuate. I think we better leave that to the police and military of this world. But it's in Murakumo. Right now, we're nothing more than powerless, ordinary citizens. 
There's nothing we... Powerless may be, but we are not ordinary citizens. Shitose, listen. We know what it's like to have peace like this taken from us, Soji. I'm not going to stand here and watch it happen to someone else. Not this time. I... So this is the life you've chosen. What the... An illogical, inefficient choice, and yet spectacular in its own way. I commend you. Okay, stop right there. This is not some time for the big dramatic speech. You're one to talk. You were just in the middle of one when you got interrupted. I see that now. Even I can take a hint. Now go. What do you mean, go? Run towards the main street. Hurry. Mr. Murakumo, look after her, would you? Will you? Satose, wait. I'm pretty sure that's the... Sorry. I'm, I'm guessing that's the personification of the AI core of the sh of her ship. Sorry, I can't. I know what I've got to do. You never quit, do you, Shitose? Let's take shelter somewhere. What's your deal? Why do you have to go and get Shitose all worked up? She made her own choice. Is that the... It is the Vang Ray. It is you, Vang Ray. You made it through the rift. Alright, now I can put up a fight. What on earth is that robot? Got a bad feeling about this. This must be bad feeling about this. This must be the engineer in me trying to tell me something. You follow me on here all by yourself, Bang Ray? I had no idea you were such a romantic. System 99, situation report. Actually, that was me. Are you serious? You controlled the Bang Ray? Not necessarily. H how else could you? Never mind. I'll ask you later. I've got a terrorist situation to take care of. Let's go, Bang Ray. Alternate universe to Earth or not, we're gonna hit them with everything we've got. The enemies within five turns. Within those turns, defeat four enemy units with one ally pilot. Pilot. I assume that means I got to kill four units in five turns. And let's check my specs. So A stats for everything. I'm missing one of my weapons. Uh, well, probably. Curious. Building. Now we got the altitude bonus for being on top of the building. And I've upgraded my, sh my ship enough that you can't touch me. Earth is Earth, whether it's in my universe or not, and I'm not going to let you me about to let you mess with it. If you don't understand the value of peace, then I will show you no mercy. Oh, I should have just done the cutscene. Oh, I pack a punch. All right, that's my that's basically my turn. Okay, let's turn the demo on. I fell too earlier. So AI, and also, I take my other crit. Level up. A chance to in the last fight. Come on, System 99. We just got reunited. Quit giving me the cold shoulder. Ugh, fine. But we're gonna have a long, nice long talk after this. Found resistance. Chance, maybe six percent hit chance. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a crit. Ugh, this barrier on that bug light unit is really ticking me off. System 99, is there any way we can turn the tables? You're one-shotting ghosts of these guys. You're still not talking? Caution. Final ship class inbound. Where? The Yamato! Or the Nondisco! Fancy looking ship. It looks like it's part of the military here. We rushed over as soon as we got word of the attack. How did someone else beat us here? Captain, Omikana has no data for that black robot that's currently engaging with the terrorists. At the very least, it doesn't appear to be a hostile. She's focused on dealing with the terrorists. So, this is the movie, which I still haven't seen yet. Roger. Well, now then, let's make a grand entrance. Harry, open a... Contact the black robot on an open channel. I want to let them know who we are. Understood. Attention, pilots. This is Major Ruri Hoshino, Captain of the Nandesco B, and member of the Autonomous Nandesco Squad in the Earth Federation. We are here to provide backup. I need to rewatch Nandesco. Thank you! That must be easy. She lets me know. Actually, I have the manga. I'm starting to pick some of that up as well. Nandesco. How can you tell? Uh, don't tell me it's because you think he's, he's cute. Well, that's only part of it. The bigger tell was the fact that she actually thanked us. Okay, let's work. I'm counting on all of you. <laughs> baka baka. Okay. Now our pilot kills four of these, kill four of these guys. Former soldier in the Jovian Army, I can't help but feel that something's off here. I really hope things don't get messy, but it looks like they might anyway. in range of very analyze I'll do one Your weapons I'm familiar with. Boom. Level up again. Right, Lord Real Cannon, we haven't seen that one yet. Some late age, some mid '90s anime, late '90s anime music. Okay, now that's just being a mean. <laughs> Like several wrote as a hot blooded cocky pilot, but then again, the Jovians were, were all about um, Kiki Gengar and Super Robot anime, so why not? All right. We 
you're definitely gonna miss me. I might hit you. I do hit you! And I splash you. So the ally unit needs to kill, like, four more. So my crit for this tends to, if I crit, tends to tend to kill. Level up again. I have a really good level. I haven't got a chance to shoot at you yet. Can't do the can't do the gravity blast yet. We're picking up the rear. At this rate, we'll Captain! That's right, Harry. Focus on the task at hand. Take things one step at a time, come with me. Take the terrace first. Good luck, everyone. I like the idea that they accidentally let the ship get in front. Okay, that's cool. Those little, those little clouds of smoke in the ship. I miss a lot. And they got a shot in. We haven't gotten used the distortion attack yet. Alright, you are the last target left, so let's just show off the one attack we haven't used yet. Since the gravity beam is not available. That's really overkill for a guy who has for a opponent who has over who has under a thousand hit points. <laughs> I don't want to hit KO to be at full health. <laughs> Object objective complete. There we go, and it's our point. We're back on track. All enemy bases destroyed. Captain, it seems they were targeting the Sentuchi Heavy Industries Oto Factory. You know what they were after, work, don't you? We have more, more things to do before we investigate such rumors. Attention, Black Robot. Are you talking to me? You are being detained. I offer my sincere apologies. Oh, this must be Tuesday. I could never get a hang of Tuesdays. Say what? You're piloting an armed, unlicensed robot. This is standard operating procedure. I mean, really, you're a, like a very large, in a very large building, and the robot with enough army to clean out most of these opponents pretty much on your own, even if we hadn't shown up. So, um, we have some questions to ask about this. You, you understand that this does look a little fishy, right? There's no cause for alarm. We'll guarantee your safety, safety provided you cooperate. 
Understood. Requesting landing permission. I I'm surprised. You're not putting up a fight? I've done nothing wrong. What reason do I have to resist? Plus, again, like, this is kind I admit, this is kind of a weird look. <coughs> very well. Very well. I had no reason to flee. I did what I had to do. And if I can't escape this world, I might as well do what I can to save it. And if it comes to that, I can just bust out and kick ten kinds of butt. Major Master Magto, plant manager Osaka from the Aoto factory is on the line for you. Oh good, that means he survived. I'm afraid he has a rather troublesome fate to us. Aoki, he protected all those people. I'd do anything in my power for him. I mean, I'm Aoto Senpuji, CEO of the Senpuji Concern. I make the impossible possible. <laughs> Despite the fact that they had to be masked in the shadows and all being looking all sinister a few seconds ago. Okay. Now I have a much more reduced list of robots here. Okay. Alright. Oh, I have another... Estevalis has three slots for power... for upgrades. That's cool. Um... Hopefully we get all my robots back soon. That'd be nice. Um... On the computer... Bang Ray is pretty he heavy lo heavily leveled in almost every regard. Um, not in HP, not in energy. Let's go... Actually, range. max out my energy, then I can switch to the, um, then when I get another, um, slot open, or I get a, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, actually, let, let's up, let's boost my hit points. And then we'll focus on energy. And once we've got that max, we'll focus on inner on uh, sight and energy. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.